Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my eyes. I'm doing this video because <laughs> since I posted my recent uh, special effect eyes that I'm making, which are not perfect, there is way better high quality uh, handmade of this type of eyes for the special effect industry. It has nothing to do with those actually at all. But anyway, uh, and I was being bombarded with messages because you know guys, I am a structure, I teach classes and mostly in doll making because I know about doll making. I'm new to special effects. I'm just a student of special effects. But uh, I have been asked uh, this whole week for me to teach the classes about making the, uh, I have my eyes here, about making this uh, life looking um, eyes. And uh, well, I'll, I'll have to make this clear to you guys. It's not a matter that I'm being selfish, I don't want to teach this, and not even to my Patreons or something like that. I don't want to people think bad about me, but this is the deal with these eyes. Like I said, uh, these are not your doll eyes. These are not your typical doll eyes. This is, this is a, another type of level. Um, and let me get this. Let me get, I, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you how I'm doing it a little bit. I mean, the tools that I use. Now, and I'm going to show you why is that I, I cannot teach this class. You can totally go to a Stan Winston school and take the class there if you want to. That's totally awesome. But look, this is, this is, a glass eye, a doll glass eye purchase. This is a full round. Uh, hey, hey, sadly, I do not understand what you're saying. I only talk English and Spanish, and that, that's how far as I go. But, but anyway, this is a store bought uh, glass eye, a full round. This is a brand new uh, glass eye that I saw it online, and I, had, I bought it from Canada even. This is a flat type of eye. This is a flat type, but these two are doll eyes. There you go. These two are doll eyes. They're glass eyes. This guy over here is worth uh, forty dollars, pretty much, if you buy them on, on the on the doll sites. This one is pretty much thirty or thirty-five dollars if you buy it like this. It's a full. It's a lot. I don't know. It's lausia. Lausia is this. Is that a, the right way of saying it? But that's it. And this is my eye. Probably the this camera is not showing well. It looks a lot better um, on the pictures, actually. It looks a lot better. In pictures and in the camera. Plus, my camera is kind of blurry there. Let me get this. A little bit, the focus on my camera wants to go there. A little tiny bit there, but as you can see, they're kind of pretty much similar in in quality, and this is a great this is a great quality of glass eyes. So and it it, it has more it's, it has more to do to it. It has like a veining type of shading on on the on the core of the eye here, but that's just for you to have an idea and uh, to compare the eyes. And well, this goes for everybody else. They were wondering and were asking about the classes. Uh, just coming by my little eyes, the eyes that I made for dolls. These guys are I sell in my Etsy store. I do not teach this class either. Why is it that I don't teach classes? Uh, I should have my pattern. Okay, the main reason I don't teach this type of classes, let me get back to my face. Is because I use printings, and these printings are digital art. And God knows how much I search. I bought the original printing, uh, the original uh, digital art. You can find, you can try to find in Google many hours as I did to try to find the printings, the irises, and then um, many times I had to buy them from the uh, digital art. And it's not even perfect. The key of these eyes is to have the perfect realistic uh, uh, printings, the irises, okay? And many times, many times, uh, I will have to fix it. I will have to redo it. Or I will have to spend a lot of time working this in Photoshop. None of the artists on the special effect uh, who make these realistic eyes, 
they sell the molds, which are pretty expensive, okay? Uh, but none of them will sell you the digital art. They will sell you probably this. They will sell you the, the, the printed. So you can cut it and you can put it in place. As long as I know, nobody sells that or, or else I will be buying their digital, digital art so I can reproduce and keep making my eyes. So getting these babies here is a heck of a hard job. And I don't sell these, neither for the big eyes, neither for the tiny eyes, okay? And that is the mainly reason I do not teach this class. Every time I teach a class, like when I made a, a head, the doll head based on a skull, I will sell you the mold to make uh, the skull. But in this case, and, and I don't think it has, it has any sense in teaching a class, knowing that my student it won't be able to find the tools or their equipment that they need to make the 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 object the thing no i i won't be taking a class if i will that was my case i won't be wasting my money taking that class it doesn't make sense to me so that is why i clearly said i'm not teaching class in whole to make these eyes I, I i took a class from the stanway some school which i dropped the link in this uh, video, so you can totally go and check it out, because I have the equipment to work with. What do you need? Uh, to begin with, you cannot make tiny weeny eyes with this uh, technique. That is going to be a hell of impossible. Your tiny weeny eyes, if you find the printings, you can make it with polymer clay, as easy as that, okay? This is hard. This is really hard to be painting it, to be, uh, you know, fine tuning it in a tiny little micro six millimeters, eight millimeters eyes. This is an 18 millimeter eye. That will be really out of question. And anyway, now uh, let me show you how this work and also why this will be hard for me uh, to teach you because you, you, you will need to have the equipment. Uh, we work with, with silicone, we work with resin, and epoxy uh, resin also, a clear coat, or a UV resin. But these are my molds. Uh, I do have the original. Okay, I'll show you here. A lot of things on here. Okay, I do. These are my original eyes. This, this I, I made them uh, in. This is polymer clay actually. From the polymer clay, I made a mold. These are casters actually in FX uh, and CX5. This is a wax type of uh, clay. But I was I was just reproducing so I can have several pairs at once. And then this is the mold. This is the mold that make the eye core from in white dressing. What they sell. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Ford Seal Studios. And what the teacher uh, from Eastern Wisdom uh, shows you, he will be selling his molds too. But those molds are worth $200. So just, to, just to heads up, okay? I don't know. Uh, that. That's from the other studio. From the teacher on, on the Eastern Wisdom, I don't know how much he will be charging, but he uses the complicated. It's a complex type of mold that you ended up with your casts and they will have screws on there. So you will be able to airbrush painting and rotating. It's a, it's a quite of a process. That is why these eyes, these eyes, the polyurethane eyes that you make, they're worth the same as a glass eye, if not more in many cases. Okay, so these are my original. I made these eyes, these uh, eyes uh, based from scratch in polymer clay. And then I, I mold these. I'm not selling the molds either. In my case, is because I do not have time to reproduce. I'm really sorry about that, but I don't don't have the time to reproduce this. I will hardly will be selling any eyes, any pair of eyes that is like uh, I'm making these eyes for me. If I have any extra, I will be selling those. Uh, just because of that, I'm not planning in, in doing a bigger production because it takes time. It takes a lot of time. So these are my molds. This is white resin. When you're making this, everything has to be perfect. You don't want to deal here with bubbles. You get bubbles on the silicone. You get bubbles on the resin. That is naturally. It's just the essence. It's just the way the material is. So what this means, in my YouTube channel, 
I have a free video showing you how to use the machines for degassing silicon and uh, degassing the resin. So in this case, you cannot afford having bubbles. It just has to be a perfect cast. So this silicon for making my molds has been degassed and it's perfect. It doesn't have any holes. It doesn't have anything. One thing, okay? Another thing, when I pour the resin, the, the resin use a pressure pot to get rid of the, of the bubbles. And believe me, you will get bubbles and you, you cannot afford to have tiny weeny bubbles here because that's going to be a hell of pain trying to fix that. This is not a big cast. This is a delicate, tiny cast. So yes, I use a pressure pot. I have the two machines. I have the whole equipment, which is worth about $600. And is, if not more, and I probably more with the pumps and the compressor, but anyway. So that's one. I need a machine to make a perfect move. I need a machine to make a perfect uh, cast. Okay? <laughs> I hope uh, up to this point you will understand me why is that I am not open to teaching this class because you won't be able to actually get to it. Another, uh, uh, you, you, have, you, you could have the ocean or the polymer clay and you probably can make it smaller. So you can make, you make these and try to make it as perfect as we can in white polymer clay. That's it. And still, you will need to get printings, cut out the printings, glue it to your polymer clay, and work it in there. It will work. Yes, it will work. It's just taking time to to make to hand to handmade each uh, uh, eyeball, but it will work in the end. Uh, next. Here are my eyes. This is the blank cast. Here I my, my, my eyes are pre-painted. I messed it up here. You can see the difference. I striped the, clean, the paint. I took it all the paint off. And this, this is all white. And this has the tones of the reds and the blues. But that I, I just want to show you a terrible way of, of the process. That is the process. You get the blanks. You have to prime it. Uh, we use Liquitex, li Liquitex uh, medium to prime. Oh, you have to wash very well the resin because you have to use, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. You have to use a more release. It comes in a spray. You have to use a more release to, to be able to have a nice cast also. But the more release has some kind of a wax on it. So you have to wash this with uh, dishwash soap and clean it thoroughly with acetone or else your paints won't stick to the resin right and then you use the medium liquitex one layer so you will be able to paint what kind of paints do i use do you use for acrylic uh uh resin you use acrylic i love uh the tim gore lines line or simply the Createx, which is pretty much the same it's just the tim gore he has like a million of different tones of uh paints the same brand he does it with the Createx. He, he just have a, a bunch of custom-made awesome colors, which is, is my favorite. I I blended. You could use the blending if you want to have like more watery or transparent. You could use the own blender, which is from the Createx brand, to create uh, these layers of colors. And you hand brush the layers. You can hand brush it. There's your option also. Also, you can hand brush it or you can spray paint it. Actually, spray paint is the most uh, accurate way to do it, but I hate working with the spray paint <laughs> with an airbrush because of the cleaning. And if I'm going to do like a lot of eyes, I probably will use my uh, uh, airbrushing. But in this case, I was just making, I was just testing, okay? And so this is pretty much uh, hand painted. Uh, if you're making babies, these eyes are for babies. The babies tend to have a little bit more of a bluish on the, on the uh, eye generally and uh i do i will do a little a little bit of a shading very very diluted of a blue and some shades of the this is the blood red also very very nicely blended and i i will hand brush uh that so just to begin you can glue uh do i have any cutted iris uh i think i put it away you could glue the irises with the medium, with the liquitex medium, or with um, probably with the 
how is it called? It's glue, tacky glue. You could glue it on there. And then the last finishing of this is as simple as a clear resin. I know Lisa Belka has a UV. You could use any type of a UV resin. I'm pretty sure I was playing even with the nails. I have some from nails and I have the one for uh, jewelry making. Okay, that is just a clear. Well, I don't have it in my hand right now, but it's just clear resin. And from that, you just add by the drops and you build it up on, on the cornea here. And if it's UV, you need a lamp, a UV lamp, or just put it on the sun. And then you come back and you start building the layers of the cornea here. And then you come back and do it again, you come back and do it again, until you are happy with the cornea, the, the height of, of the cornea, or the, the coloring of the whole eye. And that's pretty much what it is. So you see that the process is not that complicated, uh, but it's just, it's, just the, it's just the materials mostly that you, have to, that you have to use. And sadly, I don't have time to make my molds. I do not sell my printings and uh, you are free and you should go really to check it out the classes in, in stan wisdom i'll totally recommend it and um if i don't have any questions thank you very much uh for watching uh, this goes this goes for everybody uh, asking me about this class and i hope now you understand why i cannot teach this class it won't make any sense really if you are you won't be able to make your eyes because you don't have the equipment nobody uh no, I know your common doll maker won't be having the whole equipment of this. This is more for people who work with uh, special effects or mold making, casting, reproducing. They will have the equipment, so this will be like a piece of cake for them. Uh, I know the the instructor from the uh, Stan Winston School will be having molds. I have no idea how much it's going to cost. I know those molds are, are costly. They're way better quality than mine. Mine are like a little bit more rustic. And uh, yeah. If I don't have any more questions, thank you guys for watching. And now I'm returning to finishing my silicone baby. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, yes, follow my page. Uh, join me in Patreon. I'm showing a lot of all the cool stuff there and everything related to doll making. And uh, even I'm adding a little bit other things too. Mold making, uh, baby making and everything a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorials and mostly work in progress you will have a lot of fun there and thank you for supporting me as i am still going to school and I have to pay for it <laughs> okay thank you very much for watching guys i'll be talking to you later